everybody. This was a song Always Watching by Lil Whale. It was a request from Mark and it won last week's poll on my Patreon. So for those of you who don't know, I'm posting each week on my Patreon page a poll with all of the song requests that I receive and for the most voted songs I make tutorials. Um, and this was a really really nice one. Um, in the original song, there are two guitars playing the same chords in different finger-picking patterns at the same time. One of the guitars also has a delay effect, which gives this kind of spacious, a bit psychedelic sound. So what I did here, I simplified it a little bit, and I'm going to show you the main finger-picking pattern of the main guitar. And in this video, I'm going to show you the intro. Okay, which has this nice pull-off phrase in it as well and uh, the main finger-picking pattern for the whole song and in my Patreon you can download a lyrics and chord chart so you can see the lyrics and the chords above them um, so you can kind of like follow the song or sing along and play and also tabs where you can see how the finger-picking pattern is applied to the different chords and the chord diagrams. All right. Um, so let's start with the intro. We have the couple on the sixth fret, and we have three chords in the intro. We have A minor, we have C, and we have E minor. Um, and the picking pattern looks like this. We have five, three, two, one, three, and then four. Okay. The bass strings I'm doing with the thumb, the fifth and the fourth strings. Then the third string is with the index finger. Second and first with the middle and ring fingers. And then again index finger for the third string. Okay, so five, three, two, one, three, four, three, two, one, three. That's the like the main finger picking pattern for the whole song. Very common pattern. And the way we do it in the intro is we play it on the A minor one time, do it slow. Then we do five, three, and then we have this. Okay, what's going on here? We start with the first fret on the second string and pull off to the open string. Then we move to the second fret on the third string pull off to the open string and then the second fret on the fourth string and pull off to the open string. So these are basically the notes of the A minor chord and after each note I'm doing a pull off to the open string. This is a nice ex exercise in and out of itself. You can just loop it. Um, so you might want to start by practicing it just like this, loop this part, and then combine it with the with the finger picking pattern. So again, we have uh, five, three, two, one, three, four, three, two, one, three, five, three, and then and then this uh, pull off part. And then we go straight into the C chord, same pattern, and E minor, same pattern. Okay, and then the E minor, the bass is on the sixth string. Okay, let's see how it sounds together. So we have the A minor. of the song is the exact same finger picking pattern which I demonstrated and the chords are pretty straightforward uh, A minor C G E minor there is one chord there there is not less common as F major 7 it looks like this um, so it looks like an A minor but we're adding the first finger on the first fret of the sixth string for the bass okay that's that's in the verse uh, and the part goes uh, so we have there like A minor two times C and then F major seven and back to A minor. Okay. Um, so 
and the rest of the chords for the whole song you can find on my Patreon in the lyrics and chord charts. Uh, chord diagrams and tabs are also available for download. Link is in the description of this video as always. And one more thing I wanted to let you guys know. I have one more spot for the Medicine Guitar Online course that starts on December 10th. This is a four week course for beginners where we work on all the basic techniques that you need in order to play medicine songs smoothly. So we're working on chord transitions, how to transition smoothly between chords and some common uh, finger picking patterns and strumming patterns and how to connect them with one another and how to apply them into different chord progressions. Um, so if you want some more information or if you want to join, send me a message. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my Patreon page for the lyrics and chord charts and also for more exclusive content. So in addition to what I upload on YouTube every week, I also upload exclusive content on my Patreon page. And I also post polls and you can make requests for songs. Um, so check it out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.